وارڈ کو خواہ ٹاپ جس میں انفلمن کو خواہ ٹیسرن کو سیلت نا ویلکم آل می ریلیٹیوز You probably by now have heard news about what's been uncovered in Kamloops, the 215 burials of those little ones. It's such a shock and uh, feels so horrific for all of us. And for those of you that went to the residential school and are survivors, I want to really ask you to think about the support you may need. And as I'm speaking, we're going to put up a list of supports that you may want to call. Because it really is about you. You survived that horror. And uh, it's important that you get what you need. And I know many people, whether you had parents or grandparents, aunties or uncles or siblings that attended uh, this school, or what they called a school. It's unmanageable and it's horrific. You know, we're working with other Sukhapam Kukukpis, the chiefs, uh, the Kukpi of Tukumlups, and we're looking at what we do need to do next. Uh, we'll be doing a ceremony within the Sukhup Nation first and then we're going to invite in all other nations to help because there was not just Sukhup children that attended this area. There was other nations from all over British Columbia and even into Alberta and the Yukon. So I want you to take some time and to reach out to somebody that you know, even if you were not in the residential school, but there probably is somebody in your family, reach out to them with a phone call and check in with them. How are you? Ask them, how are you doing? What is happening for you? And if there are stories to be told, let people talk. Let them let it out because a lot of people still won't talk about the horrors that took place here. A lot of people will not believe that there were actual burials at this place. There are many, many stories and many, many people knew. This confirms what our people have always said. So again, I want you to take the time to look after yourself and understand that the news when it came out, uh, I was shocked like everybody else. I did not hear until later in the day. And it was really a horrific thing and it took me off balance. It knocked me off my stride for a while. I'm still uh, kind of reeling. I've been on call since 8.30 this morning until now, uh, 1 o'clock and going on 1 this afternoon around follow up and how we need to help each other. And that is the message in our language. Let's help each other. And again, a reminder that Kanukantwak means helping each other, but it's an action. It's not a, just words. So reach out and help somebody. It's a really tough time for some people, and I want you to take this time to really do that for each other. And still remember we're in the midst of COVID, and it makes it even more difficult because we're trying to find out how can we do this and ensure that uh, a lot of our communities haven't had our second uh, vaccination yet. And so we're trying to accelerate that process. So we're trying to do as much as we can to get our people together physically to mourn the death of these 215 babies. It's hard to, like I said, it's hard to explain. Our chiefs are angry. They're really, really angry and want to hold the governments accountable, but also the church for what happened to these little ones. And I think you need to know that uh, the Kukukpi and the Sukhup Nation are gathering together and looking at how we can actually support each other and do something in memory and ceremony for those little ones to help them return home, wherever their home may be. So a reminder that the support systems are there. They've been scrolling it here uh, during this, uh, as you heard my voice and take the time to call it and if you can't do that take the time to call somebody that you know and you can talk to them my uh, prayers and blessings are with you and your family and your little ones take care of yourself look after yourself help each other